Hello, YouTube. <clears throat> I want to talk to you a little bit about our newest edition uh, with Joe uh, that you guys have been seeing Joe like like spar with like up up getting to medium, but uh, a guy that's showing a tremendous amount of promise. Uh, along with Joe, I don't want to discount Joe, but I'm going to talk about this kid today. Um, uh, our new addition is uh, a young 14 year old. His name is Diego. You can see him in some videos with Joe. Um, <clears throat> he's living in Colombia. Their family came from Venezuela. Hence, <clears throat> I'm going to start calling him until people change it or it, it generically changes or, or naturally changes on its own. His nickname is the Venezuelan Nightmare. Uh, this kid's five, five foot eleven and a quarter to a half inches tall. And weighs 111 and a half pounds. This guy is a lightweight. I thought he was fighting at 125 all day long. I took him down and got him on a, a, a I don't know if I want to say professional scale, but a scale that could be used to weigh uh, a balanced scale. Uh, that I knew was right, and he weighed 111 and a half pounds. And for a hundred, for a flyweight, this kid is hitting, and he is tall. Uh, it's like getting towards the later part of my life that uh, God's just giving me my son, obviously, uh, in the sport we love and sometimes love to hate. And he's done sent this kid, Diego, along. Uh, we call him Lil Diego because we've had some friends in boxing that were named Diego before. But uh, uh, this kid is super special. And folks, I want to I want you to keep in mind uh, we welcome a lot of the uh, con constructive uh, input over here. Uh, we love it, and I am not saying anything. Uh, to anybody, keep saying what you're saying and give us the constructive critique so we can improve. We don't, you know, unless somebody's ugly, we welcome uh, the critiquing. Uh, in, in critiquing comes growth. But I want to remind folks, this guy's only been at this uh, a month. So I believe last week, this past week, we're on Sunday now. I believe this past week was his full fourth week. Uh, so, oh boy. And this, I mean, he couldn't hit for nothing when he started. And now we've, uh, his speed has increased. His punching power has more than quadrupled. Uh, and I was just shocked when I put him on the scales, uh, yesterday evening and found out that he was under 112 pounds. I was shocked, totally shocked. Uh, you know, when you're looking at a kid and you've got a 15 or 20 pound difference in that kid that maybe you've had a mess up in the scale, maybe the kid didn't know how much he weighed, a uh, whole bunch of different things, but, uh, you, uh, you, uh, when you get to a, to a point where you've got that big of a weight difference there, um, and you see a kid hitting and you say, well, he's this, this weight, you find out he's 15 or 20 pounds lighter, uh, it's like Santa Claus brought the coach or trainer uh, the, exactly what they asked for for Christmas. I mean, you, know, you want to get a trainer 
elated like a little school kid, that's a good way to do it. You got a guy 15, 20 pounds lighter than you thought he was, and he and you already think he's he's 15 or 20 pounds heavier, and he, he and, and you start getting impressed with the punching power the kid's got, and you find out he's minus all that. Whoa, that, that is a Christmas gift. That's a good gift. So Joe loves this guy. Joe considers him his top friend. Uh, I believe this. I know this kid loves Joe and considers him his top friend. And uh, they're like brothers. You go at one, you're going to be going at both of them. Uh, it's right, wrong, or indifferent with these two with these two boys and uh, you know I'm always promoting Joe and uh, Joe's at a point he just what he does speaks for itself where you know with him uh, we've got zero competition um, we've been throughout Columbia uh, not everywhere in the country but we've been to four or five, five states and you, you waltz up on a tournament and they'll enter him, let us pay a fee or whatever we need to do. And then word goes around, no, that's that gringo kid and nobody will fight him, you know. So we're winning, Joe's winning without getting into a ring. Um, everywhere he haps upon and they're like, no, we ain't fighting this kid. And they start talking about, uh, you know, they'll put kids in all day and let them beat each other to pulps without teaching them much technique and defense. But then Joe comes along and all of a sudden that CTE, you know, brain damage is their top issue. And uh, that's good for Joe. So, uh, but Diego's coming along here and even at a, a light, light weight and flyweight, uh, this kid's going to get the same results. There's going to be people backing out. As soon as they know this kid's with us, it's going to be hard for this kid to get somebody to take him on in a, in a uh, tournament. So we're very proud for this, this kid. Uh, Diego works his ass off it, uh, like Joe does. Uh, he's new to the game. He can't do nowhere near as much as like what Joe does. Uh, but Joe's been at this over a year, and uh, well over a year. And uh, uh, Joe's, you know, worked himself up. It's all about hard work, young guys. It's all about hard work. And this kid is sitting where Joe was a month into Joe's training. And I'm so glad that I opened it up some for Diego and, and let Joe start hitting him a little more aggressively over the past few weeks. Uh, because as Joe was beaten up by a professional boxer for almost two months, a couple of times, two or three times a week, uh, Joe's laying it on, on this kid. And uh, it, it just, it produces the fruits of toughness and heart, folks. And... It is a lot better. I'm telling you, young trainers, stick your smaller guys in with the larger guys as much as you can. Uh, the smaller guy's going to speed up and help the defense of the larger guy. Uh, and the larger guy is going to help toughen up and strengthen up the smaller guy. We always did this back in the 60s and 70s and uh Somewhere along the line in the 80s and 90s or maybe 90s, uh, that got lost. Uh, it, it, something clicked in the head and said, well, that's unfair, that's not nice, or something like that. But uh, boxing's not fair. Uh, wish it was, but there's a lot of finagling and stuff and tomfoolery that goes on in the boxing world, folks, and you need to toughen these boys up. They need to be tough. And uh, the, uh, uh, like I said, somewhere in the 90s, something started getting lost, and uh, especially with those kids coming up. It really, it was in the 80s. And the kids coming up through and going through the circuits. And 
uh, for lack of a better word. And uh, uh, we're, we, we practice hard, we train hard. Uh, the calisthenics that we do are unbelievable. We do need to improve our uh, cardio work some, but our strength and conditioning and general calisthenics training is the best in the world right here. You're, you're looking at the guy that's doing the best uh, strength conditioning and calisthenic training guy anywhere, anywhere. Uh, but we do, we've got a lot of improvements we need to make and, uh, uh, especially in the cardio department. And, uh, uh, now what I'm thinking needs to be improved. You may think it would be too much for you. I mean, I don't know. I, I, I can't gauge what everybody's doing, but I know that what we're doing in the strength and conditioning and uh, general calisthenics training, uh, we're up there with anyone. We're up there with the best. We may not be leaps and bounds above, but uh, you, you could say we're doing the best work, and we are for these teens now and uh, these younger teenagers. And uh, we're very proud of this kid. So when you go back and you look and you look at some of the sparring that they've got together, Keep in mind, Joe's 185, 190 in there, and this kid's 111 pounds. And this kid's taking, he's taking some punches. And, uh, and he's giving some, too. He's got a big heart. So I'm going to start calling him the Venezuelan nightmare because he's going to be a nightmare coming up on whoever he goes against. Uh, just like Joe has been and We'll continue to be if we can find somebody that, that'll fight him. So uh, much love to everybody. I just wanted to really, really talk this this young man, Diego, up, tickle pink with him. Tried to break him every day for the first two weeks. There's no break in this boy, and that's the way I do it. I try to break somebody and get the weak ones out. Uh, <clears throat> and there, there was no bend. This boy wasn't even broke. He's bending a little, but <clears throat> nowhere near getting to a breaking point with this kid. This kid's phenomenal like Joe is, and we're very proud of him. On an ending note, <clears throat> I'm going to be putting some more videos as we start getting closer to the tournament in Colorado that our two favorite uh, amateur boxers, who happened to both be at uh, 125, uh, and they both happened to be our favorites, and, and they both happened to be the ones that we love them, and we love their families, and we love their gyms, and their, all their support networks, and their friends that, that help them and, and work with them. We love everything around these, these two young men, and that would be Zeke Castro and Kirk Williams. And, and I'm going to be putting some more videos and thoughts out about that. Uh, they'll be in a group of uh, 28 competitors at 125. So it's a big, big uh, amount of young men in, in that tournament at 125 pounds. Uh, it's going to be very interesting and a hellaciously competitive event. And uh, good luck to both of them. Uh, as stated in an earlier video, I'm not going to try to pick a winner between the two. Uh, I may, I, I may give a little bit of insight with both of them, but what I'd rather do is talk about uh, the emotional aspects from us to both of them, uh, the love and the the, the the admiration that we have for them and their families and their teams and all. Uh, uh, but I, I really, I don't want to see them banging at it, but it's looking like that could happen. But we'll see what happens. But we'll be talking about that on some future videos. 
Much love to everybody. Uh, mad respect, Zeke Castro. Mad respect, Kirk Williams. Uh, we love you two guys. Uh, mad respect from me to my son, Joe. Mad respect from me to uh, Diego uh, that's working with us now. Uh, and much love to everybody else. And we hope everybody has a good, fruitful week that is coming up. We have a holiday here in Columbia tomorrow. It's one of the many, so I don't know what the holiday is. It's pretty much normal. Uh, but we'll be stabbing at it like it's just another day. Uh, much love, respect uh, to all my Christian brothers and sisters. May my king, who is king of all kings, bless you and give you peace and get you what, what you need, not necessarily what you want. And I pray that for myself too. And much love to everybody. Have a good week.